Hey guys, Matt here, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing this Toner TC30 USB microphone kit. Now let's take a look what's actually included here in the packaging. Nice, nice, nice. We got this box here. Got, I believe, a user manual. Got some instructions there. We will get there, put that there. Got the actual mount in the middle here. There we go, like so. Yeah, the rest is just space holders. So it's essentially just these pieces here. Here is the clamp. And we've got our USB-A to USB-C cable. Obviously got our actual mounting. And look at that, it comes all put together in one piece with the pop filter already on. That's super convenient. What nice mounting, where it's already in the shock mount. As you can see, I can push it around. It's absorbing all that shock. First thing I notice is that the pop filter is actually not adjustable. That's like built right in, so you couldn't like lengthen that, but you can move the mic forward or backward. This shock mount lines up right in. There's a little groove here stays put and kind of locks in right there as that cable just slides right in that slot. Great looking mic, pumped about this. And it's so simple with just the USB-C on the back. So once again, here are all of our parts here. Let's actually get this mounted. And my specific desk has um, a solid side and that's probably typically where I would mount it. But since my desk has this side built in, I think the best spot to clamp it will be right here. So I can clamp it right here and then I can expand it towards uh, my mouth this way. So um, let's throw that on. Okay, got this on. I love that it has this rotating bar to get leverage because let me show you here, this clamps on the top here and it is super sturdy because you can easily get all that leverage by using that bar. And I was expecting this um, mount to be difficult to install or there to be a, a wing nut or a fastener, but there's not. You just place it in and you can kind of get the point here. At this point, we just expand this and we mount the mic onto this mount here. And then we're essentially just plugging it in and done. Make sure I get that in the threads right. All right, and then tighten the wing nuts for the hinge. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And what I love about this is you can kind of minimize it out of the way on the side of the desk. And when I need it, I can just pull it over and slide it and it's good to go. And it's got the pop filter and it's in place and everything. Let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. All right, so once you're all set up, I'm just going to follow the directions here, but essentially the top is what to do if you're on a PC and the bottom is what to do if you're on a Mac. I'm specifically on a Mac, so I'm just gonna follow these instructions. And these instructions are for exactly the step once you have it plugged into your computer. At that point, we open um, system preferences. We find the sound button and click it. And then there is our toner TC30 audio device. We click that and there we go. We can see my audio inputs going up and down. We can set the input volume to make sure I'm not like clipping or uh, we don't want to be maxing out there. So I'm going to put it about here. So I'm safely ha 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 like when I'm laughing and it's higher signals, I'm not maxing it out. Maybe I go a little bit safer. And from there, honestly, you're good to use this. It's good to go. So let's check it out and see how it sounds. Now that we're all set up, this is what it sounds like. I'm really impressed after previewing the audio file. I think the pop filter is really helpful. How it's two layers is really, really convenient. So hopefully this shows you exactly what to expect with this toner USB microphone kit. And I hope you enjoy this video as well. I'll catch you on the next one.